I had a sister, and both of us were from the mountain. So we had a bond. And even when we got the Mwadulos, we were like, this journey, we are not going to leave each other. And even as we progressed in life and moved on with life, we, we came together as sisters. Here I am going to celebrate Wadulo and Mama Jo because this has been our journey with our sons. We have prayed together, we have cried together. I remember the last time we had a word with Dulo and they were going lunch with the father and the cousins and the Ambia, Auntie Badu Koshot, Abadu Nakupita, Koko Short People Association. <laughs> and we laughed about it. And when I look back at how we have been praying for our children and how it turned out, I am here to ask myself, what will my legacy be? What is Joe teaching me as an auntie, as an individual, hearing all these tributes, all these good things that Dulu has been? We've had even people, I have colleagues in the in US, my colleagues in Dubai, who are telling me their kids are crying because they were with Dulu in World of Life. Dulo was a legacy. He has left a legacy. And I'm sitting down here asking myself, what is my legacy? When someone stands in a podium like this one, what will they read about me? And I want all of us as we sit here, as we listen of the good things, as you remember individually, those of you who have been with the family, you brought up Dulo together. Go back to your archives and ask yourself, what will I be remembered of? Going forward, what can I change? Because we are sitting here, we are happy because we have chosen to celebrate him. We are not mourning him. What will I be celebrated about? Because Dulo has been a lesson to each and every one of us. Be it a dignitary, be it the smallest person in this room, we have seen people coming all over to celebrate him. What am I celebrated about? And so to my son, Dulo, I choose to celebrate him. I choose to leave a legacy that when you're up there in heaven, you'll be proud of me as your auntie. I remember the last week before we received this news, we were somewhere with Wangari praying for our modulos, specifically for our modulos. And we sat one afternoon and we told God, may our sons leave a legacy. And two or three days later, we received the news. And as we sit every night with Wangari, every night from Monday, we have seen what God was preparing us for for this legacy. Modulo to the whole world is remaining as a legacy. And for today, our hearts might be sad, but our souls know that in heaven, God is happy with you. And I urge all of us, search your heart. Search your heart and know that one day, people will stand somewhere and celebrate you or money with the Lord. I love the clap for Antinou. Uh, Ruth, thank you for reminding me those lessons that I have so many myself. Uh, like Isaac was saying, I think one of the last activities we did with Joe, we went to the waterfront 
and we had a few activities somewhere between, which was uh, us, the old men as they called us, and the youth. We went to paint bowling, and we beat them. And how we beat them, we kept on uh, telling them about being calm, slow, and utilizing strategy. Him and his team were all trying to outpace us, but all we did was sit behind, uh, for those people who've gone there, you know, their, their barriers. There's some sort of screens that protect you, so we just wait for them to run, shoot them, and we won. And we sat down and tried to tell them how strategy and sitting down to think through processes works. In comes the next challenge, which is uh, go-karting. Isaac and I are very good drivers. But I can assure you, we were beaten proper by Joe. And he loved us twice. In fact, this, the last time as he was passing me, he told me, I told you speed always wins. <laughs> <laughs> and true enough, I realized sometimes we might sit back and think we know everything. But it is always good to appreciate each and every person and their strengths that they have at that particular moment. I'd like now to invite uh, Joe's dad, Morrison Wadulo, to come and uh, give us his tribute. Uh, Wadulo, I know you're in the room. Let's appreciate Baba Joe.